Uh, as uh, Nell mentioned, Sandhill Crane is one of my favorites, a real icon for the, for the marsh that have now started to come back and have now started to nest again. You know, even the first couple of years when they came back, they didn't nest necessarily. And, and, but now they have, I think there were five nests this year that uh, John mentioned. One of the unique things about the Sandhill Crane is that each pair of Sandhill Cranes requires about 200 acres of unbroken land to successfully set up a breeding territory. So five nests on a 1,200 acre preserve is just about right, you know, in terms of their spatial requirements. And, uh, and that's so important, you know, you can take 1,200 acres like that and only put two or three houses in it in such a way to break it up where you couldn't get that 200 acres in any one block. So it's really important, you know, to preserve open space like this. And one of the other unique things about the sandhill is that the colts that are born this year, when they migrate, they, they'll gather in family groups and extended family groups before they migrate. And they will take off and migrate during the day and they learn the migration route from their parents. Uh, and, and they learn to recognize different uh, landing areas along the way. So keeping those open spaces uh, open for them as they go through these migrations is, is important. I always wondered what happens when they come back to Utah and they're out in West Farmington or West Lake and West Caseville and they're now subdivisions built where they used to, you know, come out and, and uh, develop nests and all that. What do they do then and say, oh my goodness, you know, we're, we're shut out, you know, where do we go now? Um, and they're, they're beautiful birds, just, you know, wonderful, elaborate courtship dancing. This one here is uh, one of my favorite dances. This is called the, uh, the dung beetle dance. Uh, you, can, you can see there's a, uh, a cow pie here. And, and here he's got one that he's throwing up in the air. And, and, and she's being very demure and not paying attention. But when that, when that cow pie hits the ground and breaks up, he'll run over and pick up a beetle, a dung beetle out of it, and bring it over and present it to her. He says, you know, if you hang out with me, look what you get. <laughs> so, yeah. 